We saw Cobol banished to the loser's bracket earlier. By Moki. By Moki. But of course, over and over, whenever this happens to Cobol, he somehow clutches it out and makes it into day three, day two, what have you. We'll see if he can do it right now versus Tiramisu. Oh, we saw Tiramisu versus uh, Mango. Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, he got a couple shots. He was a wild man. He got that illusion stage spike. He was the off stage. Who gets a Fox illusion shit stage spike? <laughs> oh, my God. Tiramisu. Yeah, that's super tough. Boys, this looks like it will be the last singles match of the night. The next block is going to be doubles top eight. Both yes. streams, both BG Bootcamp and even Matchup Gaming, are going to be streamed top eight of doubles. If you guys love Melee doubles, if I you love, love Melee, doubles. Melee, you must multi-twitch. You must tell your friends about top eight doubles. Don't tell me what to do. It's going to end tonight, so you're going to miss out a lot of content if you are not uh, compliant with this suggestion. Well, I'll think about it. Listen, life is, like, there's a lot of things. I got a lot of things to do, okay? I'm a busy man. Well, if Maybe. you're listening to this, you might be able to listen to the next If you're block. not a busy man, <laughs> you might want to multi-twitch doubles in Melee tonight here in the Big House stream. Yeah, big smiles from everyone. We get to love and talk and play the same game here at the Big House 7. Yes. And I've, and I've enjoyed my time here with you, bro. It's always fun to be the, uh, the third wheel on your date with Melee. Yeah, Melee is just nothing's going to get between me and it, man. The one true love. There's a lot of people that feel that way, to be honest. There's a lot, even at the lower levels, I know guys that are just, it's, it's, it's you know, we all, I think, to be here at all is to be incredibly passionate about the game, but there are some people where the game just gives them a new level of inspiration that I think is, is really cool to see. People playing on setups by themselves or with friends, yeah. just grinding hours and hours away at these tournaments. Yeah, when the big house last year, I, there was a great anecdote. I can't remember if it's about Aurelia or somebody else, but they were playing friendlies all through the night, and then somebody looked at the clock and said, oh, it's 8 a.m., and the guy said, god damn it, big house. <laughs> Every time. The friendlies room was certainly missed from last year. We yeah. do not have a 24-hour venue. We do have some good friendlies going on in the hotels, though. People are playing melee throughout the night. True, true. But here SS goes. is going to be Cobalt. True, true, Tiramisu versus Cobalt. Nice shorts coming out of Terrible We see that his offstage gameplay has been not only wacky, but pretty good too. Wacky. Cobol is also vicious in the first stock we've seen many times. He knows how to get himself the lead nice and early. The zoning there, kind of like Sheik, taking out that stock. Right. Cobol looking very strong, only 12% yeah. in. Once again, he's got Tiramisu in the corner. Toss him up. Yeah, really great form on the patience. Oh, I love that shine. And then there's the back air that we so, so often wish he wouldn't do because he lets his opponent get back. Yeah, I'm surprised that Cobol thinks this back air is as good as it is. <laughs> He's done it like three times and literally died every single time we've seen him do it today. Yes, but the, the thing I will say that is true about that back air is it does hit. It, that is true. It is a move that connects. And for that reason alone, we give Cobol partial credit. Yeah. You Five out of ten. Yeah, that is a failing grade in mini. Yeah, mini yeah. Shout out, shout out to partial credit. <laughs> Would help me pass school. Yeah, that's right. Termasu looking like he's uh, getting outplayed. Yeah, he's definitely down two stocks without much hope as Cobalt goes in again for these crazy offstage kills. Pretty sure the only deaths Cobalt has suffered on stream are SDs. Now, that may be a little <laughs> bit of an exaggeration, but. I don't know. This game, that is not an exaggeration. <laughs> I, we, we, like that. Come on, man! It, it, it's possible. It's uh, very likely. Cobalt, Cobalt gets lose the this match. Whoa, whoa, I think Cobalt no! Just lost his no, he didn't lose it. <laughs> that was almost the whole match thrown away by Cobalt. This guy is crazy. Commentating Cobalt matches a, a roller coaster of emotion. I love I, him. My guys. I love him. High F tilt into not getting edge guard. I'm so scared for him now. I am too. I don't care what the percentage says. Cobalt can. Cobol is in 100% of the driver's seat of this match. If he wants to lose, he can lose. But it seems like he wanted to win this time. Slow get up for the final kill. Tiramisu is laughing his face off, man. He's like, yeah, I only got one stock by Cobol. Pretty good. Pretty hey, good. I made him fair off stage. I made him SD. I just I'm exerted edgy. so much pressure. My mentality was so strong that Cobol had to kill himself three times. Now, Cobol, of course, is trying to keep himself composed. No room for laughter. I actually don't think it phases him at all. I think this is yes. actually just his life, and so he does not care. This, this is who he is. So often. Yeah. They run and it right back. A lot of the strengths that came from Cobol were aerial to shine and just shine at the corner. Yeah, and he always starts off with these really nice early leads. Oh, my oh. goodness. What just. Hey, there match. we go. Jiramisu. It's a disease. 
I I think they're set onto high gravity or something. <laughs> That's right. No. Oh, okay, good, good, good. He, that was clean. He, that was clean. He did the clean one. Right? I like. I. It was like an armada shine. My trust has been shaken. I've been scarred by this man. Whenever a fox, either of them get near the ledge, my heart is skipping a beat. Yeah, that's right. But you have to if you want to be the, the modern seeing? age. You like that delay? You like delay, delay, yeah, delay, delay, and then delay. he just died anyways. It's like the guy who was like, I'm here, I'm here. Can you get me? <laughs> yes, I, uh, I did get yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're playing 1v1 basketball, they start dribbling between their legs. Like, <laughs> and you're like, get that out of here, man. What are you doing? <laughs> Charge up smash. This is a, a pretty silly game. Uh, maybe one you see in the basement of your friend's room. Yeah, this is this is what real melee looks like. This is real melee okay, hours. I, I can give props to two Armada Shines like that. Yeah, but this is a two stock lead for Kobo. We've seen him throw these before. Let's see if Tiramisu can make something happen. I, I, I think Tiramisu just needs to hold out two more minutes before Kobo's dead. That's right, that's right. <laughs> yeah, maybe the game plan against Kobo should just be to run away and like run off stage until... Convincing him he's got an yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, that shine attempt was a little bold. Double shine. He's gonna get that burned off. Ooh, that up tilt just barely enough time to come out. He gets the back air. Yeah, really, really strong from Tiramisu. He backs off right there on the read. Oh, I love that grab there. Oh my goodness, Tiramisu. All right, a little. Can you feel it? Yeah, the full hop fastball up air. What a bomb. You think there's a little bit of hope, and then Kobo just rushes you down with his invincibility. I think Kobo is also playing a little weird right now. All right, there we go. He's a weird dude. Back there to kill. Cobalt sealing out singles for us. He's going to make it on forward. It would have been a weird loss, let's be real. It would have been a weird loss for a weird player in a weird game in a weird community. Fox Dittos, that's, that's everything. That's life. That's life. That's life. And we hope you've enjoyed watching a little slice of life here on the Big House stream. I've been Jack Zilla. I've loved my time commentating today. You'll see me a little bit tomorrow. Yep, he's at, at HelloJackH, mm -hmm. and I'm at Brozone on Twitter. Guys, please follow us on Twitter. You can engage with us. You can engage with all your favorite players if you follow them on social media. I love engaging. Yeah, and guys, if you love Melee, uh, not only can you do the Twitch thing, you know, watch Twitch, you can also yeah, play thing. Melee all the time. There's, there's really great net play resources you can look up on Reddit or the internet. You can look up Facebook groups for your Smash local communities. Guys, it's been a pleasure. Too. It has been a pleasure. And I think that's the wrap-up, right? I think that is. All right, guys, Doubles Top 8 is coming to your way on both of these streams. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned for Doubles Action. This is going to be sick.
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the Big House 7. My name is Webbs. Joining me, Fendrick Lamar. It's going to be fun. We got loser side of doubles top eight on here. Twitch.tv slash even matchup gaming. Uh, you can find winner side on Twitch.tv slash VG Bootcamp. But we're excited. We already have, you know, I love the fact that it's not all doubles on day one. We've yeah. seen a, a solid progression of, of getting down from over 350 teams to the top eight. We had that many teams. We had that many teams. That's a pretty good return rate on singles entrance to doubles. Entrance. I agree. I, feel I, like I, if I you, think so. In this day and age, if you're getting around like 50% of your singles entrance doing doubles, it's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, you're right. In total, yeah, in total yeah. individuals, you are correct. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, it's yeah. two per team, so 700-ish. Yeah. I mean, around. they had to raise the cap. They had to, to, yeah, to that's dip true. into the compendium and raise the cap, that's which true. is a good sign. Um, but yeah, so you guys are seeing in just a second what our top eight bracket is looking like. So in winners, we have Korean Fried Chicken. That's to Jay and Shroomed. Taking on Pew Fat. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side, we have Team UGS and Mutant King and Plot. I believe seeds all held on winners. I think That's, so, Those are the too. top four seeds right there. And we, I like the uh, the losers bracket because we have some consistent teams that made some runs. Uh, Lod and Rishi. Uh, brothers they are, am I correct? Yes, they are indeed brothers. And... Uh, MACD and Crush. MACD has yep. been jumping around between team partners as of late, but Crush has been uh, somewhat of a regular teammate of his. Yep. So they made a very nice run all the way through the Losers 8s. Meanwhile, HBOX, uh, who has been searching for <laughs> a regular, team, regular team's partner ever since him and Mewtwo King parted ways. R.I.P. Yeah. yeah but their, you... uh, their old style seemed to have died out after some time. I mean, so with Chillin taking a break, uh, one of the longest established teams in, in Melee history is yeah, Chillin and Chew. We all right. know that. But now, Chew and HBox, both representing Team Liquid, are on the same team for this tournament. It's not their first time teaming together. Maybe this will be a, a more consistent thing. And they're playing Milkman and Zane, who do team a lot together. Uh, okay. Two MDVA guys. I thought so, but I wasn't sure about that. And I was yes. going to let you answer that one because you yep. are an MDVA Five resident. MDVA players 